how's it going guys it's your boy mike uh today we actually got a very special video um this is a company i've been looking into for the past two months uh, i've been doing a lot of research and really diving deep into what this company does uh this company is called absolera uh, it's a biotech company uh they actually find antibodies for uh other companies all over the world um in today's video i will be explaining what this company does uh how does it work <laughs> for beginners and a bit of our earnings right just just understanding the fundamentals of the company um so yeah i mean yeah this company started as a tech driven antibody discovery company uh you know they focus on helping pharmaceutical companies find antibodies uh for uh drug candidates <laughs> um and like in terms of the revenue they haven't really generated crazy amounts of revenue uh they just been collecting you know fees for discovery work my milestone checks and of course like royalties if the drug actually succeed now the thing about this company is that they are actually they're actually able to find antibodies uh relatively pretty fast uh by using ai um you know they've been in charge with the COVID 19 drug uh, for the name that i can't really pronounce the drug <laughs> uh but yeah like they was able to find that antibody in just 90 days that is crazy right i mean if you guys look at traditional discovery timelines i mean most pharmaceutical companies it takes about six to 12 months uh to actually find a similar qu quality antibody um, you know, and this is a huge fleet, you know, of course, we're AI, you know, all up, all up in the storms. I mean, this company is taking full advantage of AI. But yeah, I mean, with this AI, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy fleet. You know, essentially, uh, these B cells, which are responsible for creating these antibodies, um, they'll be able to screen the body and find the best antibody that could tackle a certain disease um so i mean yeah they could do it relatively pretty fast uh if you guys actually looked at the partnerships that they do have uh they've actually worked with Eli Lilly, uh glilead badonera pfizer and abvi right so i mean yeah this company has been in the game for a while um they've been focusing on just improving their technology and advancing forward um if you guys looked right now uh they actually helped uh create 16 clinical stage drugs as of 2025 um which is pretty good <laughs> right uh they have you know they've worked with other companies and you know if these drugs pass um the fda i mean it's practically over they'll be able to uh rip up some revenue you know and yeah they'd be fine so the thing with this company is that you know from the beginning they started working with auto pharmaceutical auto pharmaceutical companies and they proved that their technology worked right um you know of course the technology that they have they was able to actually create these antibodies at such speeds relatively to the market right now in total the total discovery project started is 97 and out of those 97 only 16 made it to human trials right and that's really good you know uh you know if if any of these trials actually um go through and they work then they definitely succeed and they get royalties and milestone checks uh from these other companies that i've mentioned um but like yeah i mean it's pretty good so you know after after doing these um you know after finding these antibodies for other companies uh they actually decided that they wanted to take things to another level uh so you know after proving themselves they pivoted into clinical stage drug development uh so they're actually like they're trying to own their own like drugs um you know because they've been helping other pharmaceutical companies for quite a while and you know at this point with the cash that they do have uh <laughs> only a logical explanation they you know they want to take things to another level i mean if you guys look right now in total they have about 800 million dollars in cash uh and government funding on hand right i mean i was looking at their sheets and i wasn't able to find the government funding i suppose they don't 
really have to report that on their uh sheets um but yeah like yeah they have government funding and 800 million dollars in cash um if you guys look at cash from operations i mean obviously like <laughs> they're not really <laughs> profiting <laughs> uh but this company is literally in the beginning stages right i mean if they could you know take these drugs to market i mean we're looking at billions <laughs> you know what i mean and for those uh, for those of um for those of you guys that don't really understand how like the antibody drugs work right uh so like yeah like so in order to actually find an antibody that works right uh the process uh you know from what they do is that they actually find somebody who beat the virus so they they actively look for somebody say uh i'm not gonna say the c word i don't know if i can say that on youtube but say somebody actually beat the disease right so they were actually screen uh they were screen that person second you know they take a blood sample from that person inside that blood samples are millions of b cells right and these b cells are actually responsible of creating antibodies right so they go deep and they analyze the actual b cells to find out okay which one makes the best antibody <laughs> right you know so and of course like which you know which antibody antibody actually neutralized the virus uh after finding that they use their technology their ai and machine learning to actually identify patterns and find which antibody actually eliminate uh the tumor disease cancer whatever right um after they find that antibody uh what they tend to go through uh is they actually try to optimize the antibody right so they look and see hmm, what can we do to actually make this antibody as strong as possible right uh so they want the they want this antibody to actually last longer in the body uh be safer be more stable and see if it could actually be mass produced efficiency efficiently um and then of course you know they start the drug development process they go do animal testing and then they do human trials if approved right there's actually three trials that they go through right it's phase one phase two and phase three uh for right now the company actually has uh two drugs uh in their internal pipeline so they have uh the first one which is called uh abcl 635 and this is essentially for like menopause related hot flashes right uh we're talking about a huge market uh five billion to eight billion dollars a year right uh you know phase one trial starts actually in uh in the third quarter of 2025 and like yeah i mean it's, it's definitely this is huge i mean if this company could if this goes through and becomes fda approved it's over <laughs> it's 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 literally over um and of course they have a different one because it's literally just two uh the second one that they do have is the abcl 575 so this is actually for um if i'm looking at it uh i can't really pronounce the whole name e eczema so this is for eczema uh and of course i'm sure you guys have a friend or two that has eczema i mean we're talking about a 10 billion 10 billion dollar market that's huge right but yeah uh, this drug actually too is entering phase one in uh in the third quarter of 2025 um so yeah i mean the company has been helping these pharmaceutical companies for a while now they have their own drugs that will be released in the market i mean it's not a fact i mean the success rate of these uh these phases are pretty low <laughs> uh so i wouldn't really you know build my hype up all the way um but the company is trying to actually own their own drugs right uh they've been getting fees and royalties and milestones i mean it's time for this company to take it to the next level right i mean with their technology uh that will give them an edge to actually achieve success but yeah i mean yeah this could take years 
right? Uh, I mean, phase one to phase three, we're looking at like four to six years. <laughs> um, I mean, I've heard things in the media saying that they they did wanted to get rid of the IND filing, uh, which is which roughly takes about one to two years. Um, I think there's something with the FDA. I'm not really too sure. But realistically speaking, you know, this could take about like eight years. You know what I mean? I mean, FDA approval, best case scenario, uh, 2029, uh, 2030. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a long shot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a serious long shot. Um, you know, but if these drugs can make it to the market, I mean, this is huge. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, the company currently right now, as I'm recording, I think it's like $4, $3. Um, I don't, I don't really keep, I don't even look at the thing. Let me look at it again. Yeah. They, they actually had, uh, $3 right now, $3 and, uh, 72 cents. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're doing their thing. They have the technology, you know, and if they can have an edge of finding these antibodies and maybe even way better ones too, of course, they're trying to launch about one to three new drug candidates per year right that's actually their goal because of course it takes about 10 years <laughs> for these things to fall through you know it's 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 good to at least get these drugs into phase one like as fast as possible right and then once again into phase one you move on to the next one you create more and you create more and create more because the success rate is, is it's not the highest i mean these are strict testing <laughs> you know they actually have to make sure that these drugs work and are doing what they're supposed to do you know and that's another reason why this company then started off actually in the drug the drug development stages i mean they have to build funding they have to raise cash all these things is a factor you know so yeah like you know if you guys look right now the pre pre clinical stage you know lab animal testing and you have to go to phase one which is the safety you know this is this is roughly generally like a 70 percent success rate then you have to go into the how efficient the efficientness so yeah as you guys can see like yeah it's pretty low 33 percent success <laughs> um and yeah like you know phase three you know the, the large scale proof you know about 60 percent you know so anything could go wrong and it is very expensive to actually like put your drug through these phases right <laughs> like you you burn a lot of cash and that like again that's the reason why they, they didn't start uh doing this until they actually you know have the funding and they have the cash uh so yeah i mean from start to finish you know we have the drug success rate at 10 to 15 percent start to finish <laughs> you know you know if the if the trial fails they lose like they lose like tens to like 150 million dollars which is crazy right like imagine it passes phase one and then it goes into phase two and then phase two fails and then over you just lost all your money even worse it goes into phase three and then it fails that's an even worse of burn right because literally every single phase they have to put in millions of dollars right but here's the thing <laughs> here's the thing and i'm not too sure exactly like the laws like in terms of like the phase two part but they were saying that, you know, if they license the drug in phase two and the drug actually fails in phase three, uh, they can still keep the upfront money. So there's a little there's a little, you know, de-risking process going on here. You know, if the company did decide to just license the drug in phase two, if it actually succeed and actually de derail the risk in phase three, you know just in case if it does fail at least i got some money <laughs> so you know uh the company could actually do that which i'm actually gonna look more into but yeah i mean this is overall just a basic overview of the company for the people that don't really understand what this company does yeah but yeah i mean you know company started off smart they helped big farmer first 
now they're going in with their own pipeline right have their own drugs finally right <laughs> you know huge upside if even one one succeed <laughs> if one of them succeed it's over right and they have a smart team verified platform and a long cash way of cash so you know amazing right and of course i mentioned with the ai that they already have um you know they'll be able to screen say if one person right has an antibody one out of a million right with their technology and ai they'll be able to find out one antibody out of a million <laughs> probably billions just one you know how hard that is to find one antibody out of like billions you know how crazy that sounds like <laughs> that that's crazy so you know and of course you know as the company gain data right they'll be able to optimize uh their results and everything and be able to find antibodies at a way faster speed you know data is king so yeah i mean <laughs> that's what it is you know but yeah you guys tell me what you guys think in the comment section below uh you know really understanding this company is quite fascinating this kind of reminds me like a palantir <laughs> so.